In this example, I've got a simple table showing instruction date and fee. Right now, the instruction date is showing in the default long date format and the fee column is using the standard currency format. But we can do better than that. First, I'll head into the model view, also known as the relationship screen. I click on the instruction date column, scroll to the format section, and switch it from the default date time format to custom. Then I type in DDMYY to get a shorter, more user-friendly date format. Back in the report view, you can see the dates have now updated. They're much cleaner and easier to scan. Now, let's do the same kind of thing for the fee column. Back in model view, I click on the fee field, change the format to custom, and enter the format on screen. This means positive values will still show with a pound sign and comma separators, but now negative values will appear wrapped in brackets, a nice touch, especially for financial reporting. And just like that, when I switch back to the report view, both columns have updated. A clean date format and financials that follow accounting best practice, all with just a couple of tweaks in the model. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, then please add them in the comments.